Good morning, modern steaders. Oh, so excited to have that building up and going. It's gonna be so nice to have a place to store our firewood that's undercover. Uh, we've never had that before. We've always had the firewood on the tarps. Could be a game changer, guys. Look at all them apples. We gotta move you guys this weekend. You two were sleeping in a bit this morning, weren't you? Yeah. It's a nice, cool, brisk morning. Good for sleeping, huh? Good morning. They each have their side. Gina was just saying that yesterday. She's like, do you realize that Caleb's always staying on this side and Zeke always eats on the back side of the feeder? I never really paid attention till this morning. Morning, Figaro. Routine already, Willow. I like it. Starting to get a good milking routine down now with Willow. She knows what to do. Yeah, that was an apple. Oof, I'm glad it didn't fall on my head. doing good just under two cups ready to go see your babies and eat a few apples now we go this way there you go they're still waiting for you there's mama good morning buttercup good morning hope did you find an apple there blossom Yeah, come on a little pee. Oh, I can't wait till the next surprise gets done for you girls. You're gonna love it. Okay, you too, mister. You too, little man, you're gonna love it. You guarding us there, Figaro? Or are you waiting to see if we're leaving any milk behind, huh? You're looking for goat's milk, aren't you, mister? Gina and one of the nephews were having fun building the rock towers when they were up. Come on, Tanner. You coming? You chickens are looking mighty fine. You're growing pretty big there. So many chicken dinners and chicken stews this winter. You've been quiet lately, Moose. What's going on? There you go. Good morning to you too, sir. Today I'm hoping to get the front and the back sided. We have to do some customizing work on the front siding because we changed the way the door opening is. So, if you want to bring... Do I get to use the nail gun? You get to use the nail gun. You want to arm wrestle for it? No? All right, I'm gonna get the compressor plugged in if you wanna bring that over there. And the nail gun. Something probably like here. Oh, do we do the front that's gonna take us longer to have custom or do we do the back? What do we do first? Let's do the front and then the back's just gonna, we're gonna get hammered out. I gotta bring down some of this gravel. There we go.
Just want to trim up our bracing. One. And then this one. All right, now we can find what we need. All right, let's see what we're gonna need for pieces. All right, so we're starting in the front. We're gonna need a couple of 9200s and then some a 31 and a 23. Okay, I got some pallets from the last barn build. I think I'm gonna drag one over and we can stack up some lumber uh, on that. I might crush some of your wildflowers. Don't you think that pallet would be perfect for our next project? Yes. It will be perfect for what we... Change, it will be perfect for the next one. Definitely the 4x4 four four posts will make a good base for it. We're separating the gable wall siding from the front and rear siding. I found that keeping all of the lumber organized and in nice neat piles is key to building one of these kits. Three more. Three more. Sweet. How many pieces of back siding were you still looking for? Two. two. So they're right here. One, two. So that's the rest of the back stuff. It's another one right here for the front. All right. Now we're finding everything. So let's go. Well, one, two. Three, four, five. All right. So this front, we're gonna have to do some customizing to get everything to work because we made the door openings different to go the flow we wanted. So it might take us a little bit of time this morning to get the doorways all sided out nicely. I mean, our angles are right on the money here. Uh, diagonal? Yeah, the first ones are gonna have to be. Like right here. Okay. I need to figure out the best way to do this one. Like it. Good there.
What's that? I missed the board by this much. Don't that annoy you? Which one did I do it? Oh, there's a little bit of water right there. Empty. Sweet. It's going to be perfect. Nice and level still. Go for it. Kind of looks like a castle with a rigid top. <laughs> I was like an old western. I will get it all cut down after. It's a lot quicker to do it afterwards. And that's because we didn't do the floor. That's because we didn't do the floor. Correct. So this has got a different... What's that? They have the board across. Where's the board? Yeah, your board goes across to here. Just don't go right to the edge because we got about an inch I got to cut off after. Yeah. Do one more right there. Where are you? That should do it. All right. Poof. Man glitter right in the face, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Here, I'll take it out. After this, I'm gonna be able to build my own craft shop. You're gonna be able to build your own craft shop after this? I'll have Olivia help me. You and Olivia can? Yeah. Olivia would love it. She would have a blast. Building a craft shop or gotta get the top pieces in and then I can cut the top and trim up the doorways. Then we can do the back. Woo -woo. So we need it 10 by 36 or no 10 by 35 and three quarters. Alright we should have two of them that are one by 10 by 62 and a half and one by 10 by 80. So that's the 10 by 80. 
And we can actually get both pieces out of this one. This is the it. Because I changed the doorway down. So we can actually get both doorways out of this one piece. All right, you wanna grab the square? I think it's right there. So 35, three quarter. Yes, perfect. Don't look, the ladder's gonna be tilted. I like it. Oh, we didn't nail off the top here. We have to hold it really tight because we got a decent distance to go. So you might want to wrap it around your finger. You on your mark? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pull it tight. Okay. I'm gonna snap it. You snap it on your end? It already has a mark. All right, perfect. But this is lower. That's okay. All that's gonna get hidden anyways. These center boards are down a bit, but by the time we, fig we get the rafters up, you it's gonna cover all that. It was just balancing up there, that's funny. I thought it was not cut all the way through because it didn't fall down as I was cutting it, but it was just balancing up there. Must be how straight we have the wall. There we go. Sweet. Now we can go to the back side. Now let's cut off this back bracket. There we go. Here, they grab the level, make sure we're going straight. And kind of weird outside. It is, I hope that thunderstorm don't stop. I want to get the back part done today. Trying to 
beat the rain. It's coming. And then we gotta get all the lumber covered back up. Here, I'll take the nail gun for a minute. And before we go in, we gotta cover back the lumber all up with tarps before it gets rained on. How do you know we're gonna run out? What's that? How do you know we're gonna run out? I saw it. Last one. <laughs> so we'll do it this way. And then we're an inch short, but our we gotta trim out the corner still on that. Yes, it will. Thank you. Yep. Actually worked out raking back some of that gravel. Now we got a nice wider area to work. Right. Oh, I can reach. I you can reach, you can reach. Do you need more? Or you got enough. I'm going to pull it tight. Good. Sweet. I think we can get this one without having to get on the ladder. That'll be nice. Won't put deep enough. Yep. Perfect. Now we got everything covered up. It's raining out, so time for GoPro mode of doing the chores. Ah, it's gonna look so nice. We'll extend it another 10 feet this way for the carport. Yes. Can't wait to get the roof rafters up. Ah, oh, the pigs are sleeping inside their PPM. Hey, pigs! Where do you want it? Put it right there on top of your apples. You want me to come say hi? Yeah. All right. Hello, boys. Hello. You got plenty of hay still. You staying dry? That's all that matters, huh? Yep. No, oh, now you're gonna poop. Okay, we're gonna go check on the girls. Hey, kiddos. Oh, you got plenty of hay still. I'll just put some more in there. I see you ate all your seaweed. Get you some more seaweed and some more water. Huh, little pee.
Give you two bins of seaweed. So that way you won't fight over it as much. So that's some good seaweed, Hope. You like that little man? Goats who like seaweed. You guys are silly. Uh, the girls are inside making pickles. They didn't want to come out in the rain. Can't say that I blame them. Nice little soaking rain though. Pasture's gonna love it. Why, hello chickens. One, that was freshly laid. Two, three, four. Gotta get up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and somebody broke it. In. There we go. Twelve and one broken one. So we would have had thirteen. Did you get wet out there? Canning, canning your pickles outside in the rain. I just use that as a basket of carry it. That's a good idea. Well, I'm like, how am I going to get this in? I use a plastic pan to bring them out. So you turn upside down? Mm -hmm. No, you don't need to. It's an old wife's tale. It is? That's what everybody told me last year when we did it. I heard such snap. So that's good, right? That's good. That means they're sealed. Well, that one doesn't look like it. It will when it cools down. That one's... I already pushed yeah, down. I heard some snow. It's wet out. It is. You look wet. It's cold it rain. Be good hmm. They better be worth it. I have no idea what I was doing. How many did you make? Seven. Seven cool beans. Bread and butter pickles. Mm mm mm. The girls made homemade budgicles? Pudding pops. Pudding pops yesterday. I'll put that video clip right here. So the other day we made chocolate pudding that we got off the cornstarch box, mm -hmm. which was okay. It was pretty good. But it reminded me of the pudding pops that we used to get as a kid from the Swans Man. So then I had the idea that we make our own pudding pops. So we'll mm -hmm. see if that works. I'm not sure if it will, but if it does, it's gonna be so good. The only difference is the ones we used to get from the Swans Man as a child had a chocolate like hard coating around it. So I'm gonna eat that off and then eat the pudding pop. I don't know how to do that. So we're just gonna try to make our own pudding pop. Okay. Okay. Will this be fun? Yeah. Yeah. Corn starch. Do you wanna combine it? Do you want me to? You can. And our sugar. And then we're gonna slowly stir this in and then you do that. So. Should I wait or should I? No, start. Just go grab slowly. Pour this in. Nice and easy stir. Maybe you need a stool. Why don't I do it last time? All we had was goat milk, Coke. and so yeah, hopefully this time. turns out good because. No, we didn't need this goat's milk. Last I know, time. hopefully it turns out good because you don't want to waste the goat's milk. Hopefully this turns out good, or maybe it's a good. Wouldn't be a good thing if it turned out good. What do you think? It will be a good thing if it turns out good. We'll be put and pop obsessed. Yeah. Well, we can make it. Still. So okay. right to. So right to here. To good. Not right oh. to the dark there. spot. Yeah. Can you put the cover on or? Yeah, I'll Good. Alright, so now I put on the drops. Okay. And we wait. Now it's time to find out if they're edible. Well, they're gonna be edible. <laughs> we just don't know if they're gonna taste good. Ah, oh, let me see. Are they gonna be edible? How do you know? Well, they should be edible. <laughs> I yes, hope they're edible. Awesome. Hopefully. So, is it going to be a fail or a success? I'm not going to have to Okay, which, who's getting what color? I'm getting blue, you're getting orange, mom's getting pink. 
Well, we can't get him out of the container, so. Yeah, we can. Mine's coming out. That looks Ooh. like one. Looks pretty. Which color? I'm gonna get an orange. Pink. 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 You're getting orange. Don't try it. I <laughs> don't want to. Did it stay on? Oh, I thought Whoa. it wasn't pink. Oh, I want to eat it so bad. Mine, ours, they look perfect. Ouch. Except for that one. What'd you do? My finger's just getting sore. Oh. I'm gonna try it. Boom. Dink. Hey. Hi. I'm gonna do it. Oh, it tastes yummy. It tastes like that. I don't know what pudding pop tastes like, but mm, it tastes good. But it's good. Made with goat's milk. Girls did a good job. Thank you. You tried. <laughs> it was a success. The firewood shed is really taking shape now. I can't wait till we got the roof on and we can start putting the firewood in there. That's going to be the least amount of fun. But all of the projects we've built so far from JamaicaCottageShops.com, they've been fun projects. It's just, it's enjoyable. I enjoy building and creating and to get the kit where everything is already there pre-cut for you makes it that much more enjoyable. There's a link in the video description down below to their website and a promo code for 10% off your order expires December 31st 2019. So if you guys are looking to build anything yeah it's a good time. <laughs> I just love creating. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead we got a couple of more things up our sleeve before summer's over with, and I can't wait. We're going to make some pretty interesting videos, I think, when the animals see what they are. So thanks for coming along with us, guys, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.